Know the Ropes. Presented by the American Alpine Club and Adidas Terex. Many of the most unfortunate accidents in American climbing can be summarized by climbers not knowing exactly what they are getting into. What should you know before you start climbing? What preparation should you make? What's supposed to happen before you leave the house? And what's supposed to happen before you leave the ground? Before any climbing outing, do some homework. Get a guidebook. Read about the climb or the area on Mountain Project. And if those resources aren't helpful, reach out to a local climber or professional guide. It's important to find out about the venue, the weather, the style. Knowing this and other useful information will help you pack your bag, bring the right gear, decide what to wear, and bring the right necessities and emergency preparedness supplies, like a first aid kit, a headlamp, and a rain parka. A typical preparation scenario might play out like this. Do you want to go to Malibu tomorrow? That sounds great. Let's see what the weather is. Oh. see. Yeah, it's definitely been raining a lot, so it's probably going to be really muddy. I'm going to bring my approach shoes. Yeah, That'd definitely going to bring my approach shoes. shoes. We should definitely bring some rain gear. I got my jackets right over here, so. Um, we can bring that. Perfect for the rain. And, yeah, and then I'll probably bring just like a mid layer or something underneath, just in case it gets a little chilly. Um, what did you want to get on tomorrow? I'd like to check out Urban Struggle. Urban Struggle? Do you know how many draws and stuff we need for that one? Let's see. It says for protection, it says six bolts and chain anchors. Do you have any quick draws? You I do. Bring? I can bring draws. I'll bring the rope. And you'll bring a rope? Perfect. And awesome. then I'll bring a sling or two for cleaning the anchor. Okay, awesome. Um, I guess grab the headlamps and then uh, first aid kit and um, helmets. Some bars? Yeah, that's good. And then I'll bring like one or two of these waters. I think reception might be a little shoddy, but let's still bring our cell phones. Okay. Yeah, just because we can run out and get reception pretty easy in case. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, do you have any wet bags? Oh, good call. Yeah. I don't have them in here, but I do have them in the car, so we'll just grab those when we head out on the approach. Yeah. As we've just seen, <laughs> developing an action plan helps clarify and focus mutual goals, determine specific equipment needs, and generally work towards getting the climbing team working in the same direction. In a word, getting organized before we go to the crag. Is that it? Yeah, that's the roof that they mentioned in the guidebook, so I'm pretty sure it starts right here. Let's just base camp on top of this rock. Perfect. Let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, it looks like this, yeah, it says this route starts up and to the right on small pockets to a huge flake. Follow the flake up and left toward the upper wall and overhang. Looks like about eight bolts. And um, can I take the lead? Yeah, go for it. I'll All just right. take the next one. Awesome. Check you out. Your knot looks good. You're double backed in your harness. There's a knot at the end of the rope and it's long enough to get you down. Do you have enough quick draws? Yep, I got enough draws and I got two draws with lockers for the anchor. Awesome. On belay. All right, climbing. Climb on. Note how an experienced climbing team like this one discuss the specific demands of getting up and getting down before they leave the ground. You're gonna clean the anchor, right? Yeah. Okay, there's just a couple wrap rings up there, so you should be able to lower off no problem. Yeah, I'll keep the end, floss the anchors, and you can lower me. Awesome. The key to secure and efficient climbing is organization. Developing an action plan before heading out and continuing to discuss and plan as you go. 
every team quickly develops their own methods in this regard, with an eye towards flexibility, all to the common goal of staying safe and getting the most from every trip to the crags.